the past of Hillary and Bill Clinton is littered with numerous controversies surrounding the untimely deaths of individuals who were either employed by the Clintons or had some sort of direct connection to them. There are of course the notable ones like Vince Foster, who was the deputy White House counsel under President Bill Clinton. Officially, Vince Foster committed suicide, presumably because he was distraught over his involvement with Travelgate, where Hillary Clinton had arranged for the termination of seven employees in the White House travel office, and had replaced these seven employees with her own people. Then there is Ed Willey, the husband of Kathleen Willey, who alleges that President Bill Clinton groped her on the same day that her husband committed suicide. But of all the suspicious deaths surrounding the Clintons, the death of Judy Gibbs, a penthouse pet, who is allegedly having an affair with Bill Clinton, before he became president, is one of the more mysterious ones around. Judy Gibbs, who was an accomplished model, and later became a penthouse pet, was rumored to have carried on an affair with Bill Clinton, when he was the governor of Arkansas. The circumstances behind the death of Judy Gibbs are suspicious, and her family has always felt that her death was not an accident. Ms. Gibbs died in a house fire in 1986, amongst rumors that she had in her possession pictures, which proved she was having an affair with Bill Clinton. Judy Gibbs was 32 years old at the time of her death, but she did not die alone. There was another victim in this suspicious house fire. Bill Pewterbaugh, Judy's lover at the time, was 57 and was an accomplished real estate developer in Arkansas and was known to circulate in powerful political circles. The theory goes that Bill Clinton's people were concerned that this supposed photographic evidence of his affair with Gibbs would come out and it would destroy Clinton's political aspirations, along with those who were controlling Bill Clinton's political career. Randy Pewterbaugh, Bill Pewterbaugh's son, and Martha Gibbs, the sister of Judy Gibbs, both tell a similar tale about the deaths of their loved ones, though the two have not spoken in many years. The official cause of death of Judy and Bill was filed as smoke inhalation, but the circumstances of the fire, and why the two never made it out of the house, when they seemingly should have, continues to haunt both families to this day. According to police and fire records, Judy Gibbs was able to call 911 at 2.26 a.m. on the morning of January 3 t.d., 1986. It took several minutes for the fire department and police to arrive on scene, and according to investigators, the fire, which seemed to have started on the opposite side of the house, should have allowed the two victims to escape. When the body of Judy Gibbs was located, she was still holding on to the phone which she used to call 911. The local fire chief, Roy Wayne Mosley, surmised that, the only reason I can think why they didn't, is they were overrun with smoke so quick and so fast. It was a real tragedy. As far as residential fires go, that was the worst we've had. The story of Judy Gibbs, her alleged affair with Bill Clinton, the pictures of her and Bill Clinton, and her death all start when she was tricked into becoming a prostitute by her brother-in-law Dale Bliss, who was married to Sharon Gibbs, the sister of Judy and Martha Gibbs. Dale Bliss is currently serving a life sentence for child rape. Martha Gibbs eventually rescued Judy from a life of prostitution, but Dale Bliss always seemed to be in their lives, no matter where Martha and Judy moved to.